because you will experience, I mean, the cool thing is like the combination. You will come closer with your finger and the pop-up uh, uh, appears magically, but you still have the, the same click, the precise click of the, uh, of the switch. And like so you're still able to do it with gloved hands. Yeah, yeah. You know, because the, the, this, this click, the noise and the haptic feedback is very important for audio. You find it in every button you uh, you use, whether it's a window opener or any like the button on the climate control. You will have the same precise feedback click on the on the switches. We don't have only uh, analog precision, but we have digital precision as well. What I want to point out is that um, the design of the graphical user interface here is done uh, within the audio design department as well, and you will hear more about it in the in the connect area. Two things I want to point out from the design point uh, standpoint of view is you see the, the rim here of the tube. It's the same section as on the application or the, the function app function and the climate control. So it's like design hundred percent through. It's not a carryover part, but it's adjusted towards what you find any uh, elsewhere in the car as well. Same with, with, with the contour of the doors here and here. The same contour as the buttons on the center console or on the steering wheel. So it's like really done in a 100% way. So you, from a semantic point of view, if the same design language, you know that this button belongs to the button in the center console. Same design, same design language, same contour. Really done nicely in detail. Have a look at steering wheel. Very early sketches. Um, you, will, you will sense the different section of the, of the rim when you drive the car later on. It's more precise, it has a different section than all the other steering wheel. So it fits to the, to the genetic code of the car, to the DNA of this car. Uh, same section here, 3D section, contoured, what I mentioned before, contoured um, uh, of the switches you find in the graphical user interface design as well. 3D section as the climate control. It's just what I want to point out is like the same language, the same detailing is running 100% through the whole car. And when I point out this, I could use take any corner, for example, this one here next to here, you see there's a similarity. So it's like exterior and interior, they fit to each other. It's done within one house, one team. It's not like exterior and interior thrown together, but really one language. The character of the car is 100% complete exterior and interior put together. Let's have a look at the center console. Again, early sketches, same idea. You see the three D dishes of the, of the design. You see the application becomes a functional part of the display of the, of the gear where you're in it. And at the end of the day, I want to point out the layout of the center console. So you have the cup holders in the front. Uh, you have programmable preset buttons right behind it over here. And then uh, followed by the uh, MMI wheel with the touchpad. And what is really nice, I think, it's not only the design of what I've shown you before, the, the shifter, but it, it, it's, again, a function part as well. You put your hand on there, it's ergonomically per, uh, perfect as a palm rest, for example. I think that's what you call it. And then it's a perfect uh, ergonomic position for using the, the touchpad on the wheel. So it's not only good looking, but again, there's a function to it as well. It's ergon ergonomically correct. And nicely done. You can program the presets with whatever you like. So, for, for example, screen? you put like your radio stations in there, or your favorite uh, song, for example. You can program them on, on button number one. Okay. You press it, and then you have your favorite song. Okay. So it's up to you how you want to program the uh, the presets. Yeah. To get it a little more nerdish, but that's something I want to point out. <laughs> is, um, again, the idea of you see the the chrome strip above the door opener. Nice detailing with the section. Okay, now it's getting boring, but again, it's not only a stylish application, but uh, there's this marker light integrated the aluminum chrome strip there as well. So the marker light you may, might have experienced already, or you will later on for safety reasons or ambient lighting. There's a light, uh, a very thin red light integrated into the chrome strip. You can experience later on in the car. So it's not only um, a design feature or a stylish feature, but it has a function to it. Again, aptly function, same idea behind it. Yeah. And then this strip becomes a function part here as well, the door opener. And the door opener, I want to point out, so maybe you don't recognize first read, but on the corner, there's no, no rim or no frame around it. Yeah? It's frameless integrated into the wood. 
the same here, the wood has a 3D section, which is nothing new, but the way it is treated over here, that the wood is uh, the hitting the, the leather without a framing, it's really a nice detailing I uh, want to point out for craftsmanship, because usually what you do, you have the application, in this case the wood, then you mill the edges or you laser cut the edges to get it onto the contour. And then you have to cover the cutted edge throughout a uh, frame somehow. That's what you usually have a uh, chrome frame around it. And this way, the center console and the, def and the door, you don't. The wood goes all the way around the radius here. And it's real wood. So the, the way it's treated is really an example for craftsmanship. You won't find in any other car. This is the precision that Audi is capable of doing. And we're doing it to put it to the next level. That's what, that's what we are known for. And you find it not only in the door, but in the center console as well. Please pay attention to it when you drive the car. The detailing is really awesome.